Sohra and you are watching Evolve Search Virtual Learning. In today's session, we will discuss about the performance measurement of a company. Guys, whether it's uh, organization, firm or any kind of business or uh, its department like HR, finance, marketing, supply chain, every organization and every department has just one goal to maximize the wealth of organization okay so the every department and every organization have just one goal to maximize the wealth of our organization or to maximize the wealth of our owner okay so we can say that on the basis of that mean on the basis of our owner equity on the basis of our owner wealth we can determine how that organization or how that department has performed okay that mean if uh, wealth has increased okay that mean department or, or organization has performed well okay if wealth of owner has decreased that mean their department and their organization has not performed well okay in business term or in accounting term we call this wealth as return on equity we call it as return on equity or return on investment or, or affectionately it's it is known as roe okay so that means so what is actually roe or return on equity or return on equity roe or return on equity is the overall measurement of a company performance okay as we said earlier that owner wealth determine organization performance and owner wealth is calculated through ROE. Okay, so what is actually ROE? ROE is the overall measurement of a company performance. Okay, so what actually ROE measure? It is the measure of amount of profit earned per dollar of investment. Okay, how much amount is being earned by the investor against their investment? This is determined by ROE. So the question is how we can calculate ROE? It is very simple to calculate ROE. We can calculate return on equity by dividing our net income uh, by owner's equity. Okay, by dividing uh, our net income with uh, owner equity, we can calculate our ROE. Guys, here we have two companies. Okay, one is Swam Limited and then second is Iman Limited. So let's see uh, these companies and let's measure the performance of these two companies. As we said earlier that a company will be considered a good company if, if it has good ROE. Okay? If a company has better ROE, that company will be considered as good company. So here we have two companies. One is Swam Limited and then second is uh, Iman Limited. Okay? Uh, let's calculate their ROE. Okay, let's first of all we will calculate their ROE, and on the basis of their ROE, we will, we will determine how this company has performed. Now, our objective is to measure their performance. Okay, to measure their financial performance, how these companies has performed. And in the initial, we said that performance of a company is determined by the wealth of owner if company has performed well that mean there will be a there will be increase in the owner wealth okay if a company hasn't performed well that mean there is no increase in owner wealth and in accounting term and in business term we call this wealth as roe return on equity okay so Let's look both of these companies side by side and what we can conclude by looking at uh, these companies. Okay, so first of all, we have uh, Swam Limited. Okay, here both companies have similar amount of assets. It is six lakh ten thousand. Okay, both companies have similar amount of assets and both companies have similar amount of owner equity. In both companies, owner has invested two lakh fifty thousand. Okay, now we will see that against their investment, how much they have earned. Okay, so first, if we look at Swam Limited, uh, Swam Limited, uh, if we look at the income statement of Swam Limited, it shows that the profit of Swam Limited is twenty eight thousand seven hundred. Okay, and now let's look at the 
amount which is earned by the and so now let, let's look at the amount which is being invested by the owners it is called equity so the equity of swami limited is uh, 2 lakh 50000 now it became easy for us to calculate our profit okay simply we will divide uh, profit with uh, owner equity okay the amount which is invested by the owner we will divide profit with that amount and that final calculated amount will be called as roe okay so the uh, roe of swam limited is 0.115 okay now let's calculate the roe of iman limited so the profit here in iman limited is 26800 okay in the same way we will, we will divide this profit with owner equity and the owner equity in iman limited is similar to the swam limited it is it is 2 lakh like 50000 So the final figure of ROE is 0.107. Okay, in in a in Swami Limited ROE is 0.115 and in Iman Limited ROE is 0.107. What does this indicate? So we can say that uh, uh, the profit of so we can say that profit of Swami Limited Limited is 11 percent and profit of Iman Limited is 10 percent. So what does this 11 percent indicate? It means that for every hundred dollar which are being invested by the owners of Swami Limited, they have earned a profit of. In the same way, if we talk about Iman Limited, what does this 10 percent mean? This 10 percent means for every 100 dollar which are being invested by the owners of iman limited they have earned a return of 10% so here so iman limited has performed well than iman limited okay so now our objective is to identify why iman limited hasn't performed well what is the reason behind uh, there is their lackness in profit okay so first uh, now our, our objective is to find the reason why iman limited hasn't performed well seen that both companies have similar amount of assets okay both companies have similar amount of owner equity and both companies have similar amount of debts then why iman limited hasn't performed well as brown and uh, and complete of dupont has created a framework through which we can determine where our company hasn't performed well we can identify the area and the division where our where our company hasn't performed well as per that framework they divide roe in three components okay one is leverage and second is uh, efficiency and then third is uh, profitability dupont said that if your company hasn't performed well you have to check these three components and you will finally identify where you haven't performed well where is the lackness okay so let's uh, so let's see the performance of these two companies and let's find out the reason the problem that exists with iman limited guys first of all we will calculate leverage both of these companies okay we will see that Uh, maybe there is issue of leverage with iman limited okay we have to identify the issues that exist with iman limited so leverage of both of companies so how we will calculate leverage we will divide our total assets with total equity okay so here leverage of both of companies is similar why because both companies have similar amount of assets leverage of both of companies is 2.44 that means so there is no leverage issue with iman limited okay because both companies have similar amount of leverage so next so let's go toward second components which is uh, efficiency how will we calculate efficiency it is very simple to calculate efficiency for efficiency we will divide our total sales with total assets okay and we will get to know how well we have utilized our assets in the case of swayman limited now its sale is 50000 okay and we will divide this 50000 uh, over uh, its asset and as value of asset is 6 lakh 10000 so the ratio is 0.0.082 okay 
Now let's calculate the efficiency of Iman limit. The sales of Iman limit is 60,000 and we will divide it with 6 lakh 10,000. It is a worth of assets. Okay. So the ratio of Iman limit is 0 0.098. Okay. What does this 0 0.082 and 0 0.098 indicate? Okay. How this uh, how this figure how this figure elaborates its efficiency? How this figure indicate the efficiency of all of these companies? I am repeating it again. What does this 0 0.082 mean? This means that soil management has generated 0 0.082 in sales for each for each dollar worth of asset. Okay. If we compare with uh, Iman Limited, Iman Limited has generated 0 0.098 in sales for each dollar worth of asset okay that means iman limited has efficiently utilized its asset okay iman limited has utilized its assets more efficient than swayman limited so there is no efficiency issue exists with iman limited okay there is no efficiency issue exists with iman limited because it has performed very well against uh, swayman limited okay it has generated it has utilized its asset in more efficiently than swayman so first we have seen uh, leverage there is no issue found in leverage okay uh, so in leverage iman limited and swayman limited performed both in the same way then we see efficiency in efficiency iman limited has performed well than swayman limited okay then why the wealth of Iman Limited owners is less than the wealth of Swayman Limited? This is a big question. So now we will see the profitability ratio, okay? And we hopefully find the problem that exists with Iman Limited. First of, first of all, let's see how we can calculate profitability. It is very simple to calculate profitability. We will divide our net profit with total sales. Uh, this figure indicates this figure indicate our profitability. Okay. So first of all, let's calculate the profitability of uh, Swam Limited. Uh, the profit of Swam Limited is twenty eight thousand seven hundred. We will divide it with uh, uh, with total sales. Okay. Total sales of Swam Limited is fifty thousand. Here in the case of Swam Limited, our net profit is twenty eight thousand seven hundred and our total sales is 50,000 okay so let's divide this figure okay guys the profitability of swim limited is 0 0.574 and now let's calculate the profitability of Iman limited okay uh, in the same way we will divide uh, net profit over total sales so here in Iman limited net profit is uh, 26,800 okay and total sales is 60,000. The profitability ratio of uh, Iman Limited is 0 0.447. So we eventually find the problem that exists with Iman Limited. Okay. So Iman Limited, its profitability ratio is 0 0.574. In in the case of Iman Limited, its profit is 0 0.447. What does these figures indicate? Okay, uh, when it comes to profitability, Soima Limited has generated $57 for each $100 of sales. When we look at the profitability, Soima Limited has generated $57 in profit for each $100 of sales. Okay, now if we look at the profitability of Iman Limited, Iman Limited has generated $44 dollar in sales sorry in 44 Iman Limited has generated 44 dollars in profit for each hundred dollars of sales so there is a difference so there is a huge difference in profitability although although Iman Limited sales is higher than Swam Limited but still if we see if we look at the profitability of both of these companies so I mean it has higher profit. Why? Because it has controlled its expenses. Okay. Because of the control of expenses, finally its profit ratio is higher. Okay. Finally its profit ratio is higher than Imal Limited. 
and the difference of profitability is thirteen dollar. It's, it's it's a huge amount. Okay, it's it could be thirteen million. It could be thirteen trillion. So this is one of the reason why Swayam Limited has performed very well and Swayam Limited has performed not well. If we compare it with Swayam Limited, okay, and Swayam Limited has controlled its expenses. That's why its ROE is higher than Swayam Limited. So,